Help! How much fabric should I buy? I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to estimate your fabric yardage. I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs. So that when you get into a fabric store, you're going to know what to purchase. Initially, you need to understand how fabric comes, and I know most of you do. It usually is either 36 wide, 44 or 45 wide, 54 or 60 inches wide. And we typically do a layout on the fold of the fabric. Yes, of course, there are exceptions with single patterns up or bias cut, that kind of thing. But right now, we'll just do a typical layout. So you mark a distance that is the width of the fabric. And because we normally do a layout double, um, for 36 inch wide fabric, you are going to mark a distance that is 18 inches wide. And I've just got a really long shoelace here that I'm going to lay on the 18 inch mark. And so now I know that I've got this space right in here in order to do my layout. Let's say that your fabric was 44 inches wide. Then I would put a marker at 22 because again, my fabric is double. Then I know my pattern. I've already drawn it and the first thing that you're going to do is start laying down pieces that are on the fold. So this is the bodice back. I'm just using my sloper as an example, but this could be any pattern you've drawn. Just make sure that you've got all the appropriate pattern pieces, meaning if it's got a collar or a collar stand and a sleeve, uh, perhaps in pants it's got a waistband and pockets, make sure you've got all your pieces drawn out. Then anything that goes on the fold, you'll start laying that down first of all. And then you see how much space is left and I could likely get my bodice front side by side here. Of course, what's going to determine whether or not you can get bodices side by side is your circumference. The larger you are, the more you're likely going to need to shuffle the pattern down. Also consider in your layout that typically you want to have everything headed in the same direction, particularly if it's a nap or plaid fabric or anything that's got a pattern in it. All right, let's take a look at another piece here. Actually, I'm going to shuffle that one right back up there. All right, I'm going to say that this uh, blouse will have a collar and collar stand. So there's my collar stand pattern piece. And, <clears throat> excuse me, this needs to be cut out twice. So, I'm, and it says place on the fold. Well, I know that's my fold, so I would lay one right there, but I've got all the rest of this fabric here. So in my cutting, I would likely leave a strip that is at least that wide so that I can make a fold um, on one side and on the other, and I would lay the other pattern piece there. So now I've got my two collar stands that I need. And I've got the collar, and you'll take that, and you can lay that in amongst the pieces. And also I'm going to put a sleeve on this pattern. So now we've got a sleeve pattern piece and I know I'm running out of camera space here, but now you're going to take that and set it where it's most appropriate. Then once you've got your full layout done, all you'll do is come in with your tape measure and measure from where you started to where you ended. And now you know exactly how much fabric you need for 44 inch wide fabric. Now, in order to make this even simpler, if you go to either of my websites, either surefitdesigns.com or to the Surefit Designs Learning Center and click on the tab that says free stuff, you're going to see a chart that's going to help you to estimate your fabric yardage, whether you're working with 36 inch, 44 or 45, 54 or 60 inch wide fabric. So after you've done your yardage layouts a couple of times, you'll start to know how much you need for any given garment. 
As an example, I'm short, I know my hip circumference, and I know that I can get a pair of pull-on pants out of a yard and a half of 60 inch wide fabric. So between doing a couple of examples like this and doing a mock layout, you'll get the feel for it. And also going to either of the websites, surefitdesigns.com or thelearningcenter.com, go to free stuff, get your yardage estimating cheat sheet, and you'll have lots of tools at your fingertips so that the next time you're in that fabric store and fabric jumps out at you and says, buy me, you're going to have all the tools at hand that you need to get the correct amount of yardage.